Hi everyone, it's Annabelle. After getting so many requests on Instagram for the past couple of years, today I'm finally giving you an in-depth tutorial on how to draw realistic vintage rose nails. The colour scheme for this design is teal and blue. To start, I mix two third white acrylic paint with one third red acrylic paint for a soft pink colour. I'm sketching the composition of my roses so I'll get a rough idea of where my roses will go. Next, I mix half white acrylic paint with half red acrylic paint for the medium rose shade. Add a few dashes to the base of the rose buds. Using the tip of a brush, go in with the darkest red acrylic paint and carefully trace the medium shade. Make sure the lines are finer to give the rose more dimension. Colour some of the rose buds with the darkest red. To highlight, so go in with white acrylic paint and using the tip of a brush, apply light pressure and carefully trace around the darkest red like so. To refine it, take the darkest red shade and cut the white acrylic paint. Keep in mind that a white highlight should not overpower your red rose. So continue going in back and forth with the white and the darkest red shade to achieve the desired effect. Using a light teal acrylic paint, mark out the placement of the leaves. To get more control over your brush strokes, apply light pressure when using the tip of your brush. Leaves are really fundamental in pulling this whole design together, so it's best if you pay more attention to this step. To deepen some of the leaves, mix one third mustard, one third brown, and one third light green acrylic paint to get a light, murky khaki shade. Selectively deepen some leaves with a touch of brown acrylic paint. This will give the entire foliage a realistic and organic effect. This step is completely optional, but you can add in light little pink dots around the central rows for added detail. Lastly, don't forget to seal your design with a dry fast top coat. To give your design a more vintage feel, add a matte top coat. Just remember to always add a dry fast top coat first before applying a matte top coat. Eventually, I decided that I wanted a green and blue colour combination, so I removed the pink nails and added the green ones instead. so much for your support on Instagram for the past couple of years. I've worked really hard on this technique for two years now and I hope you find this video helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a great week ahead.